I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. Keep moving. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Get a load of these fellas. Fresh meat. <laughs> it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. 
What do you want? Kaggle your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up! Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. What are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just thinking about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. Mid's history. Forget it. I wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him. How are you doing? Better. It's weird. I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. I told you to forget it. You still in shock or what? Listen, if you're feeling better, let's get moving. You're an easy mark here. We gotta go. I'm good. I'll follow you. Fun. I hope she's still wet, cause I'm gonna ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Look out! 
to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <laughs> it's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You... You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. You look a little out of your element, kid. How'd you end up here? I was recruited, and then there was the war. I was captured a while back, and... And there you go. I... I never would have imagined that there were camps like this. It's just a POW camp, you know? We haven't got it that bad. But you gotta watch out for each other. You gotta taste of what happens when we don't. In spite of all that, I got plans to leave. You, uh, up for helping me? Leaving? Y you mean escaping, don't you? Is it even possible? Alone? No. But two of us. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Hey, Roy, just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks. Minutes back. He's on guard in the next block. 
Guess he wants to talk to me about the fat guy. Thanks for the info. to the mess, make sure you watch your step. Don't even think about doing the same thing you did with Fatso. He didn't exactly give us a choice. Yeah, yeah. The fight that part I get. But you went too far. Keep your head down for a while, okay? safe. No one fights in the mess. Now we can talk in private. What did you want to talk to me about? Keep your voice down. This is a sensitive matter. I'm planning on breaking out of here. It'll be tough doing it on my own. Probably impossible, but with what happened, I thought you might want to get out. I... Th this sounds like a dream. Do you have a plan? I've been working on this for a while. But I'm gonna need you, and it's gonna take some balls. Sure you're up for this? Of course. I don't like being locked up any more than the next guy. If my first day is any indication of what's to come, you know? Good, then listen up. This place is here for a reason. Crumbling wall, guards who don't give a shit, and surrounded by desert. But if you're outside when the sun rises, you'll bake in your boots right before your eyes melt. I get it. Then how are we doing this? There's only one way. We have to steal the train that brings the prisoners here. But that's a... I mean, you're tough and all, but how can you pull something like that off? I want you to volunteer to work for the electric station in camp. You'll use the job to check out how they protect the train, everything about it. But once you get the info, with a little luck on my end, I'll have picked up some weapons. All that we'll have left to do is break in, knock out the electric barriers, and we're out of here. But we already have weapons, don't we? These toys aren't gonna do much against armed guards. They got armor. We need guns, at least. And I've got a good idea how we're gonna get them. Shit, guys! It's hitting the fan down there! Those Abundance Bastards sent some of our boys back in pieces again! Holy shit! Are they dead? If they're not, they're as good as. Bet those assholes are gonna come back with their sign-up speech again. More food if you go down and do some cleaning. Yeah, except it's more food for those fucking bugs. Thanks, but I'll give it a miss. They can do their own cleaning. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? What are they talking about? The drilling well keeps getting overrun by moles. And because the grunts have better things to do than get rid of the vermin themselves, they send prisoners in with weapons to take them out. I'm gonna volunteer. I'd better go with you to the recruitment office. It'll also give me a chance to sign up for a special detail. All right. I'll ask to be assigned to the power plant. Just get them to believe that you've already done that kind of work. It'll fly. Come on, let's go.
Okay, so you finally taught the fat guy a lesson. State of those guys that came back up stuck here briefing the poor bastards who get sent us. What'd you do before the war? I, 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 it, nothing sp 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 special, sir, sir, sir. Great. Look, answer yes or no, it'll go faster. You good with your hands? Not, not, not real? I said yes or no. Can you write? N n no, Sarge. All right, buddy. Look, I'll put you in the kitchen and your peel boots. That'll do just fine. Next. First name, last name, former job. Innocent Smith. I was a student before the war. I mean, I was training to be an electrician. Innocence. Well, you sure look like your name, kid. For once. Anyway, can't say that's a good idea around here. You might just lose your innocence the hard way. Wanted to be an electrician, huh? Don't look like you got your hands on too many wires, if you ask me. You sure you know what you're doing? Yes, well, it's true that I don't have a lot of experience yet, but I was training. Hmm, well, you sure look like a rookie to me. But anyway, we got a power plant here. You can learn on the job. Next. Poor kid. Those Aurora bastards take him young. First name, last name, for... Hey, you're not new. Roy Defiance or something like that. Temperance, actually. But don't sweat it. I never got used to it either. What do you want? Didn't we already give you something to do? Yeah, you did. I unload equipment crates. But I heard you need more people for the cleaning. Yeah, that's true. And you're good at fighting, right? They say you kicked the shit out of the fat guy. Can't say you didn't deserve it, though. You know, the last guys who went down there didn't come back in good shape, right? I know, but moving crates is boring me shitless. Some action would be a nice change. Very well. I'll reassign you. Go talk to the guards at the top of the drilling well. But don't come bitching to me if you're missing an arm when you come back up. Next. Roy, you're really going to fight those creatures? It, it sounds pretty dangerous. Yeah, those moles are serious shit, but don't worry. I'll have a gun, and I won't be alone. Why are you taking the risk? I mean, to escape. They'll let us go someday, won't they? Probably, but it'll take months, if not longer. I already had to live in a cage, and I swore I'd never go through that again. I've already been here way too long. I was just waiting for someone I could trust to show up. All right, I'm going. You try and find out as much as possible about how the plant works. We'll meet up again this evening. All right. And, um, 
Good luck. Halt! You one of the new cleaning recruits? Yeah, I've been to the recruitment office and they gave their approval. Hey, aren't you the guy who fought with the Fat Ones gang and nearly killed them? Yeah, so what? He a friend of yours? The bastard had it coming. Yeah, maybe so. But hotheads like you make our job a lot harder. Anyway, you'll be able to let it all out down there, if the moles don't eat you. Uh, take a gun from the counter at the back. But don't fuck around with it. You better not try to use it on your buddies down there. Or on us. Because you're gonna need your buddies to survive. And as for us, well, we're just looking for an excuse to take you down. Now get down there and make yourself useful. Came to get a gun. Here, the charges are fully loaded, so you shouldn't have any problem with the ammo. But if you come across the guys from the last squad, the ones who didn't come back up, I mean, take their guns and bring them back to me, you'll get a reward. All right, I'll have a look. Perfect. Hurry up. The others are waiting. I always gotta be hungry, don't I? Or I'd never go down there. Are you serious? If that's the only reason, you should have maybe stood back. I hope you know how to use that thing. Them bugs don't just dance. I know, that's what's freaking me out. You see those guys that came back up? No, and I prefer it that way. <laughs> At least I'm not shitting myself like you. Now, it'd be real nice if you could stop giving us all the creeps. All right, whatever. Just don't expect me to go first when we get there. Right. This way we can take care of the nests by ourselves and get the bounty. Bounty? They didn't tell you? There's a bounty if you destroy the nests. Gods will give you extra stuff. So far I haven't heard a lot of squads getting that far, but hey, you can always dream, right?
These guys are already pretty ugly and dead. The guard up top said if we came across the last squad, we should look for anything useful, so... Guys, you see that? And? Don't feel like you're letting us do all the dirty work, huh? Not like we need a distraction, you know? Seriously, look! Looks like some metallic stuff down this hole. That's the Bugs Tunnels. Far as I know, they don't use metal for supports. That's fucking weird, man. Almost looks like pre-turmoil shit. Stuff built by the colonists. Holy shit! You sure? Relics? I said almost. We gotta go back up fast and tell the guards. We'll get triple rations. You sure got a problem with food. I'm with you on that, though. And anyway, who knows what's down there? Better we tell them to go down and see for themselves. Give it a rest, guys. I ain't going down that hole. No way. Okay, okay. We said we'd tell the guards when we're back up top anyway. But we're not done down here. So, let's get this over with and then go talk to them.
it done. Let's go see the guards. Uh, wait a second. I almost forgot. I got one last thing to do. a little like nuts or something what are you thinking of doing with these guns we can't go back up with all this stuff but if I tell the guards where to find them shit never thought a bounty would get you heated up like that sobriety prick what do you want I'm sick of hanging around these caves you want to go back up yeah, I think we got all the bastards. We're gonna get a great reward. And we'll see what they say about all that stuff in the lower tunnel. Okay, let's go. Why the fuck are you doing there? Sick of it already? Your shift's not over yet. That's not it. I found something down there. Well, well, let's see. And just what did you find, your asshole? Must have been something for a jerk-off like you. Nah, seriously? There's some kind of debris down one of those holes there. Metal stuff. The guy over here says they're relics from the colonists. Yeah, right, and I bet he told you he used to work in a museum. There really is something in one of the tunnels. Something metal. Manufactured. If you didn't put it there, it's gotta be pretty old. Up to you if you want to risk ignoring it just because you can't stand me, but your boss might not think the same way if he hears about it. All right, we'll call the boss, and you better not be shitting us to get out of working. Our technomancer's not exactly a bundle of laughs. something suspicious. Report, soldier. Yes, sir. The cleaning squad went down, but they came back early, saying they found some metallic debris in one of the tunnels. The prisoner says they're relics. Uh, I thought I should tell you. If they actually are relics and not the fantasies of a group of gullible fools, you did the right thing, soldier. So, prisoner, describe what you saw and what makes you think it was relics. Unless you happen to be an expert. I'm not the one who said they were relics, sir. I'm, uh... He did. I just saw metal scraps down a hole in it. Enough. You, speak. There really is metallic debris in one of the tunnels dug by the moles. Old metal, manufactured. That's why I think it could be what's left of some colonial facility. And do you have much experience with colonial facilities? Not really. It's just a guess. Well, well. A smart prisoner. This camp is chock full of surprises. Mary, my dear, do go down and see what this is all about, will you? Tell me if our local genius here is right or wrong. Yes, Master. And take him with you. With someone else. Give me a report. And... Mary, don't take any unnecessary risks. Yes, Master.
It's here. We didn't go down. The debris looked strange, so we went back up immediately. Oh, really? Really? You were right. It does look like pre-turmoil ruins. A lot of people would have just mistaken it for drilling machinery. What did you do before the war? Well, I... What the... The Queen! Sticking around. You stay with your girlfriend. Whatever your name is, charge some fluid now. We need a powerful shock to collapse this tunnel, or that thing will follow us. But what about the relics? No, we can just. Just do it, damn it! I'm gonna try to draw the deeper into the cave. We haven't got a lot of time. Well, I... What? The Queen! I'll draw it off. Try to protect the girl. What? crazy. Just do what I fucking tell you. Jesus, man, you can't stay here.
waking up. I'm done here. No way I'm sticking around. You stay with your girlfriend. What in the world? Mary, whatever. A lot of people would have just missed what? I'll draw it off. Try to protect your girl. Are you crazy? Jesus, man, you can't stay here. That bug will lead us alive. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, I'm sure we will. But if I get out of this, I'll eat you alive. Waking up! I'm done here. No way I'm sticking around. You stay with your girlfriend. What in the world? Hey Mary, whatever your name is, charge some fluid now. We need a powerful shot to collapse this tunnel, or that thing will follow us. But what about the relics? No, we can't just. Just do it, damn it! I'm gonna try to draw them deeper into the cave, but we haven't got a lot of time. Such a shame. We'll never know what was in the tunnel now. Maybe we could send in a squad to clean out the rubble. With that creature down there? With all due respect, ma'am, I don't know many people with the guts to do that. You told me exactly what to do. How is it that you know so much about the powers of technomancy? I worked with one, once. Nothing more. Is that so? Fine then, let's return. I must report this. Roy, if you need a hand for a job or something, you know where to find me, right? They were indeed relics from pre terminal times. They were? The tunnels were inhabited by a queen who had to run away and collapse the tunnel. I failed, Master. I'm sorry. Mary, I am sure you did what had to be done. I told you not to take any unnecessary risks, and you did not. You did well.
I brought you the gun. See anything down there? Any trace of the others? Sorry, but it's kind of dark down there, and we were under pressure. The bugs were everywhere, so no, I didn't see anything. Shit. Think we're gonna have to send out a patrol. We can't leave those guys lying around in the tunnels. Too bad about the reward. Come on, get out of here.